Right, hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of Emporium Galactic Survival and we are going after copper okay we're going copper hunting bring my drill charges This looks like it might be an actual surface stick because um, it's quite close here to the to the top. Now, obviously, the copper is the green lines. Yeah, this is going to be like so the surface stick. close to the surface.
Right, that's near enough done. We've only got six left on that. There we go. We're out of that now. Now, you'll notice on the copper, we didn't get any... Um, Um, or uh, rough stone okay so uh, just do remember that so we can now go back to the to the base which shouldn't be too 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 difficult to find but we still use a map so we go So we're there, that way, yep, yeah. okay, so. So now, like I said, you come in, you come in contact with the tree now. And just harvest the damn thing and get it out of your way. close enough to the back too far away so we want those I want that, I want all of these now take all of these out get that sorted So let's get this on here. So we want a hundred copper, don't we? Want at least a hundred copper less. So we're, we're going to be there, surely, surely we're going to be there. So, here we go, we've got everything now. So, when we start production, where's it going to build it? Okay, so two minutes, we, we have no idea where it's going to be built in. Um, Hopefully it will put it somewhere.
otherwise we're going to have a great big whopping thing in here so it's we're going to wait for about a minute and see what it is oh right okay manta is saying once it's done it will copy and paste it to where we want so we are obviously going to be wanting to take the bits apart <laughs> No, we're going to copy and paste it here. And we got. Uh, one minute left to go. And hopefully, these other ingots that we've got will drop. This is so cool. Really is so cool. First time I've ever used a blueprint, by the way. Come on, come on, hurry up, get that built. Okay, four, three, two, one, zero. So, okay, so it's there. So, what do we do? Blueprint finished successfully. So, we click on this, and now what do we do? Ah, spawn. Aha, so, yay, look at that, look. Oh, we're spawning. Yay. But, what has happened now? Info. Blueprint to the bits and pieces that we've got here. Um, what happened to our other bits? Did we lose them? Did it drop them? Does it go back into the factory? Did it put it in the ship? See, did it give it to us? Didn't give it to us. That's a lot for your garden. So did we get back any of the lost bits and pieces? What what happens when we do we do that? Because to me I think we lost So we still we still got them in the factory look. So we can't get we can't get them back. How do we how do we get back stuff that we don't need? Or are they always gonna stay there? So that's a bit annoying really because we don't we was hoping that they would drop but yeah so they are there look but 
So that's something we've learnt. The blueprints don't give you back unused items. So what is revert? We've got published, I'm gonna publish it. But what we are gonna do is we're gonna take it apart. Because we actually we, we built this to make sure that we could take all the nice goodies apart. Okay. Right, so Mantra is safe for now, it's a flawed mechanic, so we're not going to get back everything that we put into it. But if you want to use all those guns and stuff that um, you wouldn't normally have you know, a, a use for, that's the way that you can do it. it. And like I said, it would be nice if we could make the blueprints to. Um, basically have so we can recycle stuff There we go, so we've got all the bits and pieces back. So, doing all that, we can put all these in. to what we want. I think I need one more large fuel tank up there and one one I think we might need two up there. Yes, we were doing that. We, we're actually going to put a few designs in when we learn more about um, getting the bits and pieces together. And um, we, we're going to be doing 
uh, about the same. So, we're now going to be looking at the CV and see what we can build. So if I can have, I've got, I think I've got two of the big ones, I think it's another one of those, so we haven't got the flux coils yet, because we need, I think it's the satium ore. So let's have a look see what we've got in the hover vessel. No, not the hover vessel, the small vessel. This is the one that we're going to be doing. Yeah, thruster there. So two big thrusters, one on each side. Four landing bits, strip, stair. Um, we're not ready to bring it down, but I want to have a look at a CV gun because I do want to move it. So we've got uh, CV there. Now, this is the, the stuff that we've got here. So what have we got? We've got a rocket turret, range 500 meters, cannon turret. Uh, this is a 30 millimeter bullet, 8.3 millimeter bullets. That is a cannon turret. What's it, artillery turret. 160 millimeter missiles range a thousand meters. I think they're having that one. Plasma turret, PI charge. See, it doesn't give me the bit. So, the PI charge, what is the PI charge? Rail gun. 30 millimeter bullets, okay. P PL charge CV, metal components, electronics, and fuel packs. Output count 30. Right, let's see. I'm only going to want one to start off with. Get that there. Cannon turret. Range 625 meters. Rocket turret. A thousand meters. PI charge CV. It's 200. I'm going to go for the cannon turret. And we're going to go for the um, plasma turret because that's a thousand meters minigun turret is eight hundred and fifty. That's fifteen millimeter bullets. Minigun turret, cannon turret, right now this cannon turret should work on the planet as well. This is kind of why I want to go for them, whereas the plasma turrets only functional in space, 
So we're going to build a plasma turret. Because we're going to be moving this, I'm going to want to build quite a few. Oh, I do not want to be um, overly... So we're going to have three guns to start off with. Then we need to look at the ammo for them. Right, so these cannon turrets range 625 metres. 1000 meter for the plasma turret, so that takes a PL charge. PL charge. PL charge CV. So that's an out point of 30. Right. So that's that one. Um. So this is cannon turret and that takes 30 millimeter bullets. 30 millimeter bullets, so output 25, so 2550, 25, 50. Now have I got an ammo thing? I don't know if I've got an ammo container up there. How much do these hold cannon turrets capacity? 25, so... I'll make four there. And then we want Cargo, small ammo, here we go, large ammo, BCCV 111, 211. We'll go for a large ammo box because it's going to be one of our main weapons, and I think. We're now going to be ready to uh, to go up into space. Let's just eat again. Just mean to say that we need to make some more food up there. Right. Fuel container. Low fuel. That's what we want now. Next.
So it's off to space we go. I've not got anything else on the fridge. I've got to be careful. We ain't got a lot there. Right. Here we go. We're going to go to the HMK Sausage. We are going to call it a better name than that once we've rebuilt it. There we go, I can see it, I can see it, I see that. So, this is what uh, we were building. Now, um, temporarily, because I want to move the uh, capital vessel, we're going to park up on here. Now, don't forget we can't move it just yet because the one thing I forgot was the locking device. For the, um, whoops, not that one. For the, um, for the CV. So we can have I got have I got them on me? No. No, I haven't got them on me. I didn't pick them up. I want these. Right, so First things first, this is the front, okay, that's the, the cockpit and stuff like that, we, we haven't done anything there yet, so the first gun is going to go here, now this is going to be the cannon turret, okay, we're going to see how big these are, right, these are small enough so I can fit two on each side, um, like that, so, and I, I know I'm going to because I want to make sure that this is really heavily armoured okay so we've got two guns there and now the plasma gun yeah which is a thousand meters I'm going to put in between okay you can see that is a great big whopping fuck off gun and oh my god I so want to shoot it yeah and we're going to have, um, I think that's about the range there. So that gives me a, a thousand units there to go. And <laughs> that looks so cool. One plasma. <laughs> yeah. So we're now going to go into um, here. Jetpack off. Because we've got uh, construction here. Right, so fuel tanks, a 
that's what I wanted. One there, one there. Uh, I'm not sure what we've got at the moment. We've got four hours fifty-five. Okay, so we've now got eleven hours fifty-one. Right, so that's uh, fuel, isn't it? Yeah, fifty in there. This is oxygen. I ain't got no more oxygen in there. Uh, oxygen tanks. Did I bring up two? Yeah. So there's my uh, O2 tanks. It doesn't give you an indication of when the tanks are full. So you do have to be careful of that, okay? So HMK Sausage is coming on quite well. We do need a decent name for it. Um, this is the RCS room. Right, this is the warp room. And that's the power coil. So we haven't actually got an armory anywhere. So we're going to put the armory um, for now temporarily. The ammo box I'm going to put on uh, the wall here, and that will be good enough there for now. So we have uh, now we have the artillery and the PL charge. So we want to have a look at that that laser cannon. We, we really do want to have a look at that laser cannon. So the plasma turret, um, we only want it on alien um, yeah. access. You need to access the turret using the control panel. Yeah. Either from the cockpit. Oh right, okay, we, so we need to go to the cockpit. We want to fire that baby. Right. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the plasma turret. Oof. Thousand meter range. Let's shoot that asteroid there. Let's reload it. So I would be no good on this. This would have to be all automatic. Yeah. So just press T to come out of it. And if you want to do the others, you can go into the... Um, cannon turret here. And on that one. Currently occupied. Right, okay, so this is the cannon. Okay, so very good bullets there. Kind of like that. Okay, so get this one loaded. Okay. So 
So there we go. So that's that. Right, now, what else have I got on here to do quickly? Because of food elevator blocks. Now, where do I want my elevators? Yeah, we're just going to go here, aren't we? Okay, the reason that I've got a gap there is for the simple fact is I want one at the top, one at the bottom. Because when you go and land, you need an in and out exit. Right. What else have we got? Advanced constructor. We haven't actually got a construction room. Um, We leave it there for now. No, we'll put it. We'll put it in here. Oh, I'm going to be happy with it in here. It's going to be okay there. Right. So two extra thrusters, largest. Those are the ones that I want next. Right. So we're now going to be going outside. Now, this is where I decide where we're going to put put them. Um, if I put them on the outside here, see how big these damn things are. Whoa! They should technically just fit on the ship. I think I'm going to do, I'm going to have one at the front, because this core is the one that is um, going to be protected, so we're going to have one here, okay, and we're going to have one at the back here. Of course, it has to be an odd flipping number, doesn't it? Okay, so that means I can have a base chamber now. Okay. do need to do with these thrusters come on where are you there is make sure that's off for the time being ok so we're desperate on food now and we've got thruster armoured so we're going to need to place that one ok
Right, so these are just small little directionals. Like that. And that needs to be turned off as well. That's it there. So now we're going back down to the planet. Then we're going to be making some food. <coughs> so I think it's just three thrusters, some blocks. And we can start dismounting our base if we can land that capital vessel. Because that would be so cool to land it and build it. Right, so let's see where we're going. God, we just moved right around the planet. Right, so basically we're going to go where we are. So that should be quite cool when we can get that CV landed. I mean, and that's taken several hours to build. And of course, we do want a blueprint copy of it. Now the thing about a capital vessel, unless they've changed it, is that it cannot hover. Okay. So we're low on food there. <laughs> Go to our garden.
battery full typical. Uh, I've noticed, like I said, I've noticed food go down really, really quickly um, these last few uh, episodes. <gasps> okay, so first of all, we want flour. always got to remember ladies and gentlemen that if you do go into space make sure that you put your jetpack on okay because if you don't put your jetpack on you're just gonna fall like a rock and very quickly I wonder if you can actually fall to the planet and live I, I, I really kind of don't want to try that but Flashing. You was in your CV and you fell 700 meters. Fucking up. I know the last time that we did a CV on here. Yeah, we did plummet, <laughs> but because we was on a PVE planet, we safely crash landed. Oh, come on, make make stuff. Make bread. We're dying here, we're dying. Our food is flashing. Right, so this will get to uh, the ratatouille in a minute. I'm going to make one run to Tilly now. just going to spam um, all that ratatouille now. Uh, we're going to be looking at canned meat, I mean, and we're going to be looking at uh, the canned meat, because canned meat is really, really easy to get. Okay, so we're going to leave that going there now. So... We're having a look at this one and we're having a look at the uh, CV and we're looking at the um, what's the name the thrusters so we need flux coils so what do we need for flux coils these are the satium and silicon 
estrogen, nitrogen, sassium, which we know we can mine from the space, and silicon, which we've got enough of. So we just have to go back up into space, go and mine it. But like I said, I want to be able to move the ship. Um, and we we can't really move it currently. for a small vessel and we do need the docking pad okay now this has got to go on very carefully where it is because it only go on one way Remember to make sure that you unload your bits and pieces. I'm going to eat one, and now we're going to go to the small vessel. Now the small vessel, I don't think has got a fridge. No, it hasn't got a fridge. So we don't keep it turned on. No, because this don't last very long, only 19 minutes. Okay, so you have to remember which ones to, to make uh, for beneficial. So you need tins when you go into space. Right, so... We need to just lift this just off the ground. Yeah, it's a little bit too high, um, but it, it's going to do what, what I need. So the docking pad goes on. Now the docking pad goes... Anywhere you like. There we go. And we just go straight up. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be homing in on the CV, but we're also going to be homing in on the, um, there you see the capital vessel there. We can't turn the CV yet. I don't think we can turn the CV yet. Even though that we've got uh, engines. So we're going to be going to the Sassium asteroid Now space drone. That space drone plasma. Okay, so we've got to be careful of that space drone. I've never encountered a space drone. I've never seen a space drone, and I do not know if they come close or not. And 
this is kind of why I want to bring the capital vessel in. should technically, that should technically lock it, okay, it might not, but we're going to try and find out, and here's our um, other vehicle here, so we're going to see if we can move the vehicle, don't think we can. No, I don't think we can at the moment, so... The landing gear does the same thing. Now I know I've mined one of these Sathium ores before. Still, still iffy for me. Go to one of the other ones.
space train. Right, so we're going to leave it there, ladies and gentlemen. We've gone over time, and um, we'll see you in a bit. Have fun, stay safe. Bye for now.